Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party! Spooky! And in this one we're gonna be taking a look at the new podium vehicle, the Albany Lurcher. As always we're gonna be taking a look at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes, handles, its performs and all that good stuff in Los Santos Customs and ultimately I'm gonna be telling you if it's worth it. And uh... First of all I'd like to say Happy Halloween and uh, secondly I'd like to give you a few facts about the vehicle while I'm giving you a 360 view around it. First off, this, believe it or not, is a muscle car. It has four doors and uh, sadly it can see only two people though. Um, and as you can see, there are pretty cool decorative uh, elements uh, in the rear. But uh, all in all, it's a hearse. So what more can I say? Its real world inspiration was a hearse, uh, believe it or not. As for its interactivity, as I said, it has four doors but only two open, so it can sit, as I said, only two people. This is the engine bay and uh, honestly not uh, not a lot of things here. Well, this is pretty cool. But uh, aside from that, not a lot of things in terms of interactivity. Not very impressed. Mm. So this is the exterior of the vehicle, but uh, how does the interior look? And uh, more importantly, how does it sound? Well, let's check it out. So this is the interior, nothing special, kind of creepy actually. As for the way it sounds, nothing impressive. And uh, since it's a muscle vehicle, yeah, that was the most pathetic wheelie I've ever seen in my life. And uh, also since it's a muscle vehicle, it's a rear wheel drive one. And uh, with that done, it's time to go to Los Santos Customs and see what we can customize on this, uh, well, incredibly unusual looking muscle car. And uh, but on our way there, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Lurcher. And uh, as you could probably already tell, it's kind of powerful. And uh, in terms of handling, it handles kind of... Uh, it's kind of slippery, I gotta say. It's not the best. Not the best handling, but I was definitely expecting much worse. The power is there, although it doesn't really uh, deliver it properly. The top speed is not great, especially for, for a muscle car, but uh, hey, beggars can't be choosers. And in this scenario, I'm definitely a beggar, baby. Just like old Frankie in the back of the lurcher. Look at him with his hand out. And uh, oh my god, that horrible, horrible floaty handling. Yeah, I gotta say guys, the handling of this vehicle is uh, is pretty atrocious. It, it almost feels like it's slippering. If you've ever driven a Deluxo in its hover mode, that's how it feels pretty much. It doesn't feel connected to the, to the road. As you can see, it's just barely, barely doing what I want it to do. But uh, hey, I guess that's the that's the name of the game in this one. Anyway, we're almost at Los Santos Customs, where we're gonna be customizing the Lurcher, and hopefully the customization is gonna make up for the horrible driving experience, cause otherwise I don't see myself giving this vehicle a pass. Cause so far has it been pretty, pretty disappointing, I gotta say. And here we are at Los Santos Customs, and as I mentioned earlier, this is, believe it or not, a muscle car. And first off, this is the sale price of it. You can sell it for, wow, $20,000. But let's not do that. Let's repair it and uh, go over the customization. I mean, the upgradable options in terms of performance up front. So we don't forget anything at the end. And uh, one more and we're done. And it's time to, to look at the front bumper option. Well, that's kind of disappointing. But oh well, beggars can be choosers. And I got this for free. So who am I? To judge it. Okay, so you can put a wheelie bar on the hearse. That's kind of cool. Not really. Exhaust options. Side exhaust it is. Explosives. Grill. You can put a different grill on. Yeah, I kind of like that. Well, you know what? Why not? Horn interior. Well, you can put an interior ornament on it for four thousand dollars the ornament is visible from the outside so i'm gonna be putting it on i mean putting it in <clears throat> and which one to choose impotent rage it is livery my favorite category 
And since it's my favorite category, we're gonna be going with the none option, even though it costs me money. Yellow and black for the license plate. Suspension. These are all five suspension settings for the vehicle, and we're gonna be going, of course, with the lowest one. Turbo wheels. Honestly, guys, kind of like those, so we're gonna be keeping them. And uh, the last thing we're gonna do is tint the wheel, uh, the wheels, the windows. And since it's a curse, we're gonna be going with the limo tint. And I can't see if the back window is tinted as well, but uh, it probably is, which was kind of disappointing, but oh well. And uh, the final thing we're gonna be doing in Los Santos Customs is respraying the vehicle. And uh, this week I had a kind of an unusual poll asking you guys what color do you want me to make the podium vehicle? The choices were orange, eggplant, banana, a piece of broccoli, and a potato. And uh, no surprises, the, the eggplant one, so we're gonna be making it purple. So let's just choose a nice purple color for this one. And uh, we're gonna be on our merry way. If a purple color is available, that is. And uh, so far I'm not seeing purple. Not seeing purple. There's the purple. There's the eggplant color. Are you happy now, guys? Are you happy you voted on the poll? By the way, thank you so much for voting on the poll. And just so you don't miss any future polls, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There, I said it. Now let's get out of Los Santos Customs and see what we did in terms of performance. And uh, here is the lurcher. And uh, the first thing I want to test is how does it handle now? And how does it behave? And okay, we can do a proper wheelie now, which is kind of cool. Uh, as for the rest of the... Wow, wow, this feels incredibly, incredibly disconnected and bad. I gotta be honest with you guys, this feels just... just... woof. Wow, this is so much work just to keep it in a straight line. It could be fun, I guess. It could be fun, the handling, but it's, it's kind of too floaty to me. Uh, I think I described it best when I said in the beginning of the video that it feels like the Deluxo in its cover mode. That's, that's basically how this vehicle behaves and handles in its normal state. It's cool that you can do a wheelie with a hearse, but uh, honestly, I believe this vehicle costs something like $600,000 new, and that's a complete waste of money. Even right now, in the making of this video, it's, uh, I believe, 400000 because it's discounted, even though you can get it for free. I know, it makes no sense to me either. But uh, I gotta say, guys, spending money for this, a complete waste of time and money. But getting it for free? I, I don't know. I really don't see it. I just don't like it. Halloween isn't my favorite holiday. I understand some of you guys are just hardcore into Halloween, but that's just not me, and for that reason alone, performance isn't there, customization as you saw, pretty limited. I gotta say, this one is a hard pass for me. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be probably selling it by the... I was gonna say by the end of the video, but that's clearly not happening. But I'm definitely gonna be selling it sometime very, very soon. I don't see myself owning this one. I really really don't like it just because of the well it's a hearse and also the the handling isn't great the the, the whole performance aspect of it isn't, isn't the best yeah and uh, I think with that it's time to end the video actually with that it's time to end the video thank you so much to everybody that watched hopefully you liked what you saw and if that's the case please don't forget to leave a like on the video um, if you are not yet subscribed, make sure you also subscribe, because that helps the channel grow, and at the end of the day, that's what we want, right? That said, thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Now, how do I get in the back? Hey, Frankie, what's cooking?